We are back with our Pink Power Series to mark the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this morning, we have a checklist of important information all women need to know from risk factors to screening and more. So joining us now is Dr. Marisa Weiss, Director of Breast Radiation Oncology at Lincoln Hall Medical Center in Pennsylvania. And Dr. Weiss is a breast cancer survivor herself. So she certainly knows what she speaks. Good morning to you. Good morning. So you and I were just talking. It was 12 yeah, years ago. 12 years ago. That you were diagnosed. Yes, I'm very grateful. I benefited from early detection, and I'm mm -hmm. here today to share important information and help save other lives. I love that. So with that, let's dig in and get right to it. How do women assess their personal risk for breast cancer? I'm hearing about more women who have no family history getting breast exactly. cancer. Exactly. So breast cancer is the most common cancer to affect women, and 75% of the time there's no family history. 75%? Yes, no, no inherited gene abnormality. But if you do have in your family breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate, melanoma in your family, you could be at higher risk of breast cancer because of an inherited gene. So okay. that's why it's so important to share that information with your doctor to assess your risk, you know, to take and make a plan to lower your risk. Absolutely. And what do you mean by background? Is that and good? consider genetic testing. Okay. Background, we heard from Kitty Couric about dense breast tissue, yeah. putting you at higher risk. You might need extra tests to find it. Also, black women are yes. more likely to get breast cancer at younger ages, at more advanced stages, and have a more serious type of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Jewish women are more likely to inherit an abnormal breast cancer gene. And age... Our risk goes up as we grow older, but keep in mind, 20% of breast cancers happen before the age of 50. My goodness, which is why screening is so important. So yeah. important, oh, absolutely. Speaking of, Dr. Weiss, absolutely. early detection, and we talked a little bit about this in the green room, so I have history in my family. They yes. told me, 45 you start. This was five years ago. Now, is it 40? When should you start for these yearly yeah, mammograms? Yeah, I say, please, everyone, get your yearly mammogram starting at age 40. And if you've met, if you've let even if you don't have family history, if you if you don't have family history, that's right. And if you let things slip and slide because of the pandemic, call today to schedule your appointment. You also want to make sure that you get a comprehensive breast exam by your doctor or nurse practitioner once yearly, and then examine yourself on a regular basis just to make sure that you know what's normal, what may have changed. And if you are at extra risk because of a strong family history an inherited gene, or maybe you have dense breasts, you might need extra tests like adding an ultrasound to your mammogram, then getting an MRI six months later, and then repeating that over time. It's really important information. It really is. So, hey, Dr. Yeah. Weiss, what should women be looking for you know, when you talk about self-exams, things like yeah. that? Well, as it turns out, most breast cancers don't produce signs or symptoms. They're found by mammography. But people regularly feel things or see things like a lump, or an area of thickening in the breast or the armpit, mm -hmm. an area of swelling or, or a bulge, or the skin might be in, dimpled or retracted. You might notice a nipple discharge, or you might have, let's say, pain or discomfort in the breast. Mm -hmm. If you have any of those symptoms that are new and persist, check them out. Call your doctor. Don't wait. You want to find breast cancer as early as, early as possible when it's most treatable. Mm -hmm. Dr. Weiss, what, what are some things that folks who are watching or listening can do to reduce the risk? Yeah. Well, the good news is the same steps that reduce your risk of breast cancer improve your overall health. Okay. Like getting to and sticking to a healthy weight, exercising regularly, even 10 minutes a day makes a big difference. You want to eat mostly a vegetarian-based diet with like meat, chicken, fish, more of as a sideshow. Mm -hmm. And then reduce your alcohol use since the more you drink, the higher the risk. And stop smoking because it increases the risk for all kinds of things. I say... Start with one step, sure. then go to a next step, and before you know it, you'll be in a healthier place. So let's just say you, you, you go to the doctor, you get the diagnosed, yes. diagnosis, you get the, the dreaded C word, you hear yeah. that. Yeah. Life's not over. How do you manage that part? It can really make you, I mean, I've been there. I'm a doctor and a patient, as it were. Well, it's so, so important to get answers to your medical questions, to reduce uncertainty, and to know what to expect. Put your questions and concerns on a list mm -hmm. and put the most important ones on the top and call, email, or text your doctor to get answers to your questions. Hey, don't try to do it all. We women carry the weight of the world on our shoulders, yes. right? So um, delegate and reach out for help with like childcare, grocery shopping, you know, housework, all the things that don't matter as much. Save your precious precious energy for your treatment. Lean on your friends and family. Absolutely. I want to ask you, you mentioned something a few moments ago I wanted to follow up on. Yeah. Genetic testing, who should consider that? Any woman who's got breast cancer who can, can get genetic testing, but if you're diagnosed at age 50 or younger, if you have a history of ovarian cancer in the family, there are men in the family with breast cancer, there's a history of breast, ovarian, pancreatic cancer, melanoma, you should ask to get genetic testing. Okay. If you're of Jewish background, you okay. should ask for genetic and testing. And you mentioned men, doctor. Exactly. 
if you're a man who gets breast cancer, you're more likely to have an inherited genetic mutation, mm. like BRCA1, BRCA2. And you want to make sure if there are any men in the family, because men get breast cancer just sure. as much, right. not as often as women, like about 1% of the time. Uh, but that goes along with a, with a, a, a higher risk of an inherited gene abnormality. Oh, it's thank important you. that we're talking yeah, about thank it. You so yeah. much. Dr. Weiss, thank you. And for more information on breast cancer awareness, we put so much on our website. Just go to today.com slash health. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.